convert the 23, <laughs> the 2013 CTS coupes. So in preparation for installing the aftermarket hood, they send you a, um, a windshield wiper uh, installation kit, not windshield wiper, windshield wiper uh, washer fluid tubing installation kit. They give you an option on this aftermarket hood to have the nozzles um, um, in the hood, you know, like you traditionally on your current hood where the nozzles are at, or they can be mounted, I believe they're gonna be mounted on the windshield wiper blade arms themselves. I didn't want those holes in the aftermarket hood. I wanted this nice clean look. So I ordered this kit and they sent it to me. And so that's what we're gonna be installing now. All right, so here is the uh, kit here. Has all the wires up in there. Or the wires or tubes and everything and the instructions. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, installed. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is remove the windshield wiper arms. I have to remove these caps over here to get access to the, uh, the nuts underneath. There's some opening back in the back there. go. Caps off. And the clip one off. So I'm not sure what size these are. Too small, not the 13. So I'm going to go get, I'm assuming a 15 millimeter. Before removing them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark each one of them, passenger and driver side, but they're always just slightly longer or shorter on one side than the other. And I'm going to put a little piece of tape down here to say, hey, this is the bottom. I'm going to put it a little at the top to know that it's falling in between there. So when it's time to put it back on, you're not guessing about where it should fall at. Passenger, driver. All right, so this is gonna be, like I said, a 15 millimeter to remove them. Not tight at all. Remember that when you put them on, they wasn't, it wasn't tight to take them off, so don't crank them up down when you put them back on. Take one off. And at that point, they lift it up. There we go. I set that up there gently. <laughs> so much for gently. It's been on there for years, so it's not just going to pop off right away. There we go. All right, now that his uh, windshield wiper arms are off, we're going to take this cowl off. But what I want to show you before we take it off, because we have to run our tubing behind there to come out because the, uh, the sprayers will be on the arms. So the tubing is gonna be hidden behind here and we're gonna drill a hole roughly about here on this one, over here on the driver's side, and roughly about here 
on the passenger side uh, for the tube to come out here and here. So that's going to be the purpose of taking this off. So um, we have, uh, it looks like some eight millimeters, I'm assuming, on here that we have to remove. And uh, like maybe some over here as well. So we'll find them as we go through and I'll point them out. All right, so it looks like we have seven, seven millimeter bolts we have, need to deal with. Um, there's one over here. There's a 10 millimeter next to it, but that one I don't believe needs to come out. So a, a seven millimeter here, a seven millimeter here, here, and here. And hopefully that's it. We'll find out once we get those out. That's one. From what I can tell, there's two pieces, a left and a right. and the other side. So now I'll take that and for now I'll just flip it over right here. All right so now we're going to drill the holes for the uh, tubing and so this is these are the holes right here for the um, windshield wiper uh, arms. So we want to be roughly about a half an inch from there. So a half an inch this way and a half an inch this way and drilling right into the back side back here. All right. Now it requires a 5 16th um, drill bit. I couldn't find mine, so I'm going to use what I have. And since it's plastic, I can just work it around and make it big enough. tubing and I'm gonna check to see if I made it big enough and hone it out a little bigger if need be. Here's the tubing. It's a little too small so since I don't have the correct size drill bit with me, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Perfect. Perfect again, nice tight fit. All right, so after feeding the hoses through the holes we just drilled, they give these clips here 
they have uh, small ones and large ones. They use large ones, same part number, but these are the large ones. Um, three of them, well, there's five total. I'm going to use three now to put on there. And I got some rubbing alcohol and a, and a rag. And what I'm going to do is set up places where we can run this along here. So I'll try to pick uh, some appropriate spots for this. All right, just to make sure we're clear on one thing. When you have this in here, you see how it's set up here? You got this plastic piece on the end. I'm not sure if you can really see that. That connects into the tubing that's gonna to go to your windshield washer bottle. This T-fitting, the hose that comes off here goes into the passenger side. And this long hose over here goes over to the driver's side. All right, so now we'll be able to route that up in there. So we can definitely get over to that hose over there, okay? So we're gonna clean three spots on here to put those clips on. I'm just going to do several areas because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to place it at. But so just to be safe, I'm putting it in multiple areas. I'm cleaning multiple areas. alcohol does it dries quickly so we should be able to stick our stickers on pretty quick clips on. so the purpose is so you can be able to have some place to run these so they're not just dangling back there so but you do have your motor back there you have your arms going around so you want these you don't want these just dangling back there when I say motor I mean the uh, wiper arm motor. Put the first one in. I'll put one right about here. All right, now I'm going to put a couple of those clips up in here by, right here is your air box, you know, for the fresh air, the filter back there, you can see the filter is right back here. And this again is the passenger side. And I'm going to put two of the clips here to be able to run the cable there. So I'm just cleaning up in here because I'm going to figure out exactly where I'm going to put it. But I just want to clean it all up just to make sure wherever I put it, it's a clean area. All right, now that the area is cleaned by the air box, I'm going to tape them. I already took the tape off. I have two of them. And I think I'm, I'm assuming I'll 
just uh, put a couple of them here. Put a little further in. Put one, I don't know, maybe about here. So I'll just guesswork for me right now to be quite honest. So one about there, one about there. That way you need to have something to run along. And what we're going to need to do, this right here is the factory holes up on here. This is what was behind the hood. And that plastic or that little T rubber um, fitting was on here. I think I have it over here. Uh, get over here. So that what was on there. So I took that off. And what I want to do, or as far as the instruction says, we need to, I don't know if you can tell, but that is like, you see that little piece there? And then it's kind of like, it's ripped right here to about that point. You got to remove that off because apparently we need to take this and force it up in there. Personally, I think it would have been easier just to give a, a bridging rubber connector to go on this end to connect that to that end, but let's see how it works. All right, after snipping off that end and trying to push it on, as you can see, that's about as far as I can get, and I don't want to risk breaking it. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of heat to the receiving hose, the female side of the hose, and just soften up real quickly, and then try to slide it on. I uh, can't do it with two hands, so you guys may not be able to see this process. And I can't do it with one hand. Okay, so I did it. You see it? So what I did, I just took the flame and just heated it up here just a little bit. And to soften up just a little bit, not much at all. It was like just seconds. Then I slid it on partial way uh, to as far as it would go. Because not pushing too hard because you don't want to break this plastic piece. And then once it got as far as it could, since it was that far, I heated it up a little bit more while I was on there. And then was able to push it on the rest of the way. Then once I got it over here, I heated it up on this side over here a little bit and then just formed it around there so it would create a nice lip so it wouldn't just slip right back off. And then I let it cool down and create a, a, a fit. You know, it's not a high pressure hose, so there we go. All right, so now we're going to start putting it back together.
right, so that part is all together now. So we should be able to put some screws back in it. All right, now that you've got everything set up over here with the cow, and you definitely have enough of your tubing set out because they're gonna to need to run the length of the arm, so you have to have enough of the tubing out for that. But that's all ready. Now you're ready to put your arms back on. And so how this is gonna happen is that first, you see these right here? These are the nozzles that comes with it. All right, these are your nozzles. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but right there at the bottom, that's where the fluid comes out. Right along the, the bottom down there. You'll be able to see little holes up in there. So the way it is, is that your tube connects up on the, uh, right there on this end. And then you see that that U shape up in there, that goes around your arm right here. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take that and you're going to work it up on there without breaking it. <laughs> there we go. And now that it's on, now your tube is gonna connect here and run along here. It'd be nice to have it run underneath and then come out and run along here and run under here. So we'll put a couple of those um, channels in there to, for the hoses to clip into here and along here, all right? All right, so knowing my arm is gonna be on there like that, the tube is gonna be coming out, it's gonna be roughly around this area here what I want to do is have a clip here, see roughly around here. So I'm going to take one of the clips here and 
I'll put it roughly around here-ish. And then I'm going to want it to run along inside the chamber in there. So I think I'll put one right up in the fatter part inside up in here. Rather roughly about there. And then it'll connect right here. Now I have a third one that I want to put on here. It most likely will be somewhere along this end, but I'll determine that once I have it on. So I'm gonna keep that one to the side. here. I think I may put one maybe about here. It'll go here and about there. Maybe here. put the tube in. Being careful not to break it. There we go. I like that look so far. Now we're going to do the passenger side one. All right, so what I'm going to try this time, I'm going to uh, try to take the t to put the clip on last afterwards so i'm not going to put the uh, nozzle on first onto the arm first but i am going to put the clips on and knowing that the nozzle when it's on here it's going to be on the down end of it on the bottom end of it uh, i'm going to want a clip probably along here no yeah no along here on the inside and then have one here on the outside because it comes out so I'll take one of my clips, the little channel clips thingies. I already pulled the tape off, of course, the tape covering. And I'll put one roughly about here. Push it in nice and tight. Make sure it's a good adhesion on that tape. And the one that's going to run around here, come around, then come out. Um, I think I'm going to have the next one roughly in this area here. So I'll put one roughly about here at the bottom. All right. So now I'll put that on. And 
see where it hits at. That's just about probably where I want to have my clip at. That where the hose is naturally hitting in this area so there won't be any strain on it. Now what I want to account for is when the blade goes that way, when the arm goes that way, I'm sitting here looking at it now, that I make sure to account for enough holes sticking out on that end. All right, now I'll bring it around here. falling a little bit short. Okay, let me put the nozzle on first. I'm gonna take the nozzle, knowing it's gonna be on the top. I'm going to squeeze it in there, being gentle, because we're just talking about cheap plastic here. So we don't want to break it. Push it on all the way. Now, So I would say it's easier to put it into the tube first and then clipping it onto the blade, onto the arm. It looked like it took more work, but I was just trying to figure things out as I went along, but it's easier. Now I'm just putting things into the channels where they belong. So now it's all installed. As you can see, it's minimal visibility to them. Uh, they're running along on the inside. You see the sprayer right here. The tubing is running under here and eventually comes out here and goes into the crease, the holes that we drilled back underneath both sides. And so the reason for the relocation, well, you have your own reasons, but this was one of the kits that they provided as a, if you didn't want. So I installed the off aftermarket hood. And so as you know, the on the factory hood, you have the sprayers built in there. Well, on here, you don't have that. They will add them, you know, when they're manufacturing this hood, uh, the holes to put those, but who really want those messing up the beautiful lines of this hood, right? All right, guys, so that's how you install the windshield wiper sprayer relocation kit onto your uh, CTS. Um, if you like, hit the like button and definitely hit that subscribe button and follow along as I make a few more modifications onto my 2013 CTS Coupe. Thanks for joining.